What is going on guys? So today we're gonna talk a little bit about hitting but first check out the player comparison uh, This is where you need to go if you're uh, Wanting to get moved up in the organization right now card uh, Stanton is in front of me obviously uh, and he's well in front of me as far as his stats and our, uh, his abilities are concerned. He's in a little bit of a slump, though. But I think it's still going to be some time before I get moved up, obviously, all the way to the pros. Uh, so what I want to talk about a little bit is hitting in this game, how to make it a little bit easier for you. And really, it's never going to be easy just because this game is set up to be as realistic as possible and you see that most people in the in the MLB there's very very few that hit above like 350 very very few so I mean that means every time you go up to the plate uh, you basically have a 3 out of 10 chance of getting a hit so that means 70% of the time you're going to be failing when you're up at the plate. And it's very hard in a video game to comprehend that. Um, that there's going to be so many more times that you fail at this game than you actually succeed. So that's what makes baseball a different sport than um, most other sports. Most of the time you are failing in this game. Most of the time you are not doing what you should be doing in this game, especially at bat. So... It's very hard to get that through your head as far as where you're at. If you're betting above 300, even if you're betting above like 280, you're doing a pretty good job. But, but in video games, you expect to do way better than that, and I completely understand. So here's a few things that you can do to try to help, uh, help your guy along. So the first thing you can do is look at uh, your settings. Um, there's a few settings that you want to change. First is um, you want to look at what your your hitting mode is. Uh, zone by default is what you get, and really that's the most realistic and the most, uh, I wouldn't say the hardest, but it's definitely more difficult because you have to aim where you're going to swing the bat. So you can definitely look at timing. That's what I use. It's more based on um, you have less control over what's going to happen, but... It just seems to be a little bit easier because there's so many other things you have to concentrate on instead of having to move that reticle to where the ball is actually going to end up over the plate. So I suggest listening, looking at that. You can also set your difficulty to dynamic so that if you are struggling, it will continue to go down so that you uh, don't get stuck at a difficulty like All-Star. Maybe that's what you start off with, but then you start having all sorts of problems hitting. It's never going to change, so I would suggest going to dynamic hitting on that. Um, a couple other things you should look at outside of the game settings is look at your TV. A lot of times TVs will have a specific setting uh, for video games. Uh, you should definitely check that out because it will cause some latency on the screen if you're not set in game mode because obviously video games are very fast paced, fast action. Uh, lots of moving things in it so when you get pitches over the plate sometimes there's a slight delay as far as when you see it to when the ps4 is actually showing it to the tv so if you switch to game mode uh, some of that latency goes away and you'll have a little bit easier of a time to read those pitches um, what you can also do is if you're noticing that almost all the time you are late on fastballs or almost all the time you're early on fastballs Go into your sliders and change your pitch speed. So if you're always late on on uh, on fastballs, maybe bump the um, bump the pitch speed down a little bit, so it's a little bit slower, so you have a little bit more time to react to those swings. Likewise, if it's if you're always early, swinging early at everything, maybe bump the pitch speed up so that your timing can stay the exact same, but it will actually fix for the game for you. So. I would suggest doing that, but I guess the big thing with hitting in this game is being patient, working the count, and getting pitches that uh, that you can actually do something with. Um, I have this problem all the time, and I always tell people not to do it, but I continue to do it, is swinging at the first pitch. Now, obviously, when you're in double A and triple A, you can get away with it a lot more, and even in the MLB, it can happen sometimes where that first pitch might come right down the middle of the plate. 
Uh, chances are, though, when you get to the pros, that's not going to be the case. They are going to work corners. They are going to throw you outside. A lot of times they're not going to throw you a first pitch strike. So you really have to be patient with that first pitch. Um, so then when you're uh, – what you really want to try to avoid is getting behind in the count. So uh, zero balls, one strike, one ball, two strikes, oh, zero and two. Most of the time when you get it behind in the count like that, the pitcher is going to throw you pitches that are very difficult to hit. So maybe um, on the outside part of the plate, down in the zone, um, even out of the zone to try to get you to swing through that and get a strikeout. So you got to be careful not to get in those type of situations. When you do, even if you do make contact with a ball on an 0-2 pitch, chances are it's going to be someplace that you don't want it to go. So definitely need to try to get ahead in the count so when you're ahead in the count say it's a 1-0 pitch a 2-0 pitch a 2-1 pitch a 3-1 pitch something like that more than likely you're going to get a pitch that is easier to hit for you so something up in the zone something over the plate probably a fastball in that situation because the pitcher really does not want to fall behind even farther or give you that walk so you really those are the type of counts that you're going to get uh, a much better opportunity to hit the ball so definitely try to get ahead in the count obviously if you get a 3-0 count more than likely the guys gonna throw one right down the middle but as a good base hitter um, especially if you're like in the top part of the lineup you should never swing at a 3-0 pitch unless you're somebody like Miguel Cabrera that uh, a lot of times the pitcher will throw it right over the middle sure but there's a lot of times where they don't and there's not a worse feeling in the world if you're up 3-0 and you hit into a ground ball, double play, or something like that. So take your time on 3-0 pitches. I would let one go by because even even if you let one go by, then you're still up 3-1, three, three balls, one strike. He still has to throw you over the pit, over the plate. So um, That's the way to go. Obviously, the more you work the count and get yourself into better situations, the better the pitches you're going to see to hit. And that's really what, what makes it... Um, makes you into a better hitter is working counts being patient and that all comes with practice the more you play the game the more you can read those type of pitches the more you can lay off a, a balls in the dirt or balls outside um, high fast balls are still gonna get some people sometimes because they look so nice nice fast ball up in the uh, strike zone or even outside the strike zone you're gonna swing through a lot of those I understand I still do it and uh, everybody does it but Working the count is the number one way to do better in this game. So hopefully some of those helped you a little bit. Obviously, I'll do some more follow-ups down the road, but uh, I think that's a good start for a lot of you guys that are struggling with this game, especially if you're new um, to MLB The Show now that it's out on PS4. Um, hopefully that will help you guys out. Also, guys, as a reminder, I live stream every... Wednesday and Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, over on my Twitch channel. Um, having a very, very good time over there. Tonight, I'm actually going to be doing a probably some online home run derbies with viewers. So if you're interested at all in playing some home run derby with me and some of the people from the stream, uh, make sure to come on out. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And also, the whole online franchise, I know I've talked about it in the past a little bit. Probably going to start putting up some information about that next week on how you can join and a little bit more information about how I'll be choosing people for that. So stay tuned for that if you are interested at all with that. Also, I did a dual con with Bob Train that should be coming out pretty soon over in his channel. I will definitely link you guys that video once it is out. And just want to thank all of you guys for watching the videos and coming out to the live stream and having a lot of fun with this game and uh, hopefully we can continue on and bring kb back to the promised land like he uh, deserves to be so thanks again and we will catch you guys next time peace shake them and bake them shake them and bake them instead this is gonna sneak over the wall